Okay, so now today we are doing night five of this game. I don't even know why I'm still playing it. But sorry for the audio, that audio from the last one. Yeah, I hit the mic too far. And you know, it was my first video, so uh, hopefully that gets popular from there. You know, don't quit on your dreams. Always think about them. You know, it's the only thing we have. It's what makes us human. We can use them to expand. Anyways, last time, I cut the video so he didn't show you. But, if you get gold from a minigame, from one of the shops in the city, you can get gold. Which, if you get gold, you can get... Here's the gold right there. But you can make a gold farm, which I have to make. But I forgot to buy a flower pot, so let's go get that. Pot. Alright. Now we can get gold. We just gotta find a place to place it. Which should be easy enough. some gold. Gotta give me the gold. <laughs> yeah, then we make the golden statue. What we do till then, I don't know. We, we just have to wait for the mail to come. <clears throat> but yeah, obviously. This is, I'm starting off with a small channel. Don't give up, ever. If you give up, you'll never see what will happen at the end. Usually the end is very surprising. And I would be happy if that would be, that would be true. I wonder how long this gold thing is gonna take. And then we can go to night five. Which, I don't know what's going to go on, so hopefully it's <laughs> not scary. That's a very stupid thing to say, but hopefully it's not scary. Yo, we just gotta wait. So what should I do, play a minigame? Probably. Oh, okay, that's glitched again. Oh, the minigame's not here. Oh. Well, that's a bummer. Oh, finally! How much gold do we get? How much gold? Three gold! Okay, that's pretty good. Now we just gotta wait a little longer. Crap. Oh, exactly by what I needed. Well, I needed two, but it's uh, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm very good at math. Yeah. Wait, 
I gotta catch these birds first so I can get gold and coin. It's not gold. Okay. It's about fun time that you play with fun buckle. He likes to play hide and seek. You know what that means. Let me have to find him. Up on YouTube, not oh, good. I need that money. I already played with you, go away. Oh, 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 uh, um, maybe he's hiding in the club, you never know. He was right there. Literally right there, and I didn't see him. Come back, you. Oh. He's right there. To do the most terrifying part. See, that wasn't difficult at all. Oh, no. That was what? <laughs> <laughs> See, that wasn't so difficult at all. Now I'm going home. The party is going to start soon. So, are you excited for the party? No, that's it. Yeah, fine. Awesome. By the way, C Bill just messaged me that he won't come. He said that he needs to prepare something important. What a workaholic on and on the annual mushroom festival too. Anyways, go get a shower. You want to make a good impression on our guests, after all. See you in a few hours. <laughs> a few hours? 27 minutes late. Of course. You're late! Oh well, better late than ever. Time to introduce you to yourself to the guests. Oh, I, oh, <laughs> I thought he was going to say more dialogue. These guys are like, this is a really cool party. What I wanted to see me and see Bill so bad. See Bill's a busy man. I'm sorry that he couldn't show up. Oh. oh, it's a creepy turtle guy, yeah. That guy is here. Oh, maybe that might be points. Uh, no. I was hoping. Okay. Wood is up. Ha ha. What? Don't look at me like that. I want to tell you a story. Every year during the mushroom festival, someone falls victim to a Moorish... Moorish's monster mushroom What? It cuts them open, takes out their innards, and feeds them, and it feels his victims dead. Bodies with wooden log. What the heck? I'm not making that up. I got it from Stone Steve. If I were you, I would be very cautious this night. What the? Oh. What the heck? I'm okay. Um. That's just that's just creepy. That's just creepy. Okay, that's no, no. This is not okay. So have you been nice to everyone? We need to make the best impression possible. It would really help our reputation. I can take it away from. 
it's like you should stay up that long. Good night, and don't let the monsters get you. Ha <laughs> ha. Look how far there are you. Later that night. Oh man, crap. Crap! I'm gonna have to start this again. <laughs> you can still hear the party going on. The hell? It's not even fair.
It seems like this case is closed. Mr. Fungo built these robots to cause terror at the night, therefore he is guilty. Dude, he doesn't even have arms. Where's that on? His lips? What the heck? Yeah, no problem, get that off. I feel like you have the wrong person, Mr. Frogster. Quiet, Veggie. You were the only person that ever owned a mushroom robot. What? I call that 100% proof. There's no doubt that a weirdo like you would commit all the other crimes. Mr. Chop, I will be back soon. Not only I am a cop, but I am tax, tax collector too. Oh, come on. We could Robin Hood. We gotta, we, gotta, we gotta get a Robin Hood here. Come with me, Mr. Fungo. Okay. Whoa. Would you look at that? Maybe if we're lucky, that mushroom head will spin the beans. Spill the beans about Chipper soon. It seems like most things worked out though. Uh, look how happy I am. Look at my grin. You're right. There's work to be done probably. He didn't even smile. Man. What a good father. However, there is one thing that I need you to do. Before you can dive straight into all of those wonderful tasks, Silva just wrote me a letter that he is terribly sorry for not showing up at the party. And he also said that he prepared something during the na night. It'd be worth it. He wants you to meet him at 600 feet under. What could that mean? Go fight him and tell him if it was really worth missing the party of a century. Third night is scary. Oh. Wait, this wasn't like this before, was it? Oh no, this wasn't even open. I can't leave. Wait, so who just- So did Seabell design these and I built them? And no one saw nothing wrong? Like, didn't you have to program the AI or something? Or it just came in the mail? It's the egg bot! Cockpit. <laughs> Robo arm, power unit, more weapon, lethal cannon. Sensitive. What does that say? It, my recording thing's blocking. Robot operating incognito. Oh, she drew me. Oh, it's tracking. I'm an idiot. Weird. Isn't this the machine from Sue Bill's story? Open the blueprint of that thing being down down here. Oh, isn't it obvious already? I can't drop water. Oh. There goes, uh, what's his name? Mike. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, Mike. Seriously, how dumb are you? First, you actually went to my oil rig to let yourself get getting attacked by my mecha bird. And now you follow this, me this far down without any context because you still think I'm the good guy here. Naive. <laughs> you stupid. You want an answer, right? Well, you probably saw the chippo mats on your way here. I built them and programmed them to cause terror in the upper world at night. But your beavers dodge it all. Jail, death, being trapped in this factory, really everything. I came to the conclusion that the best solution was to just clear you down here and that was easier than I thought. Don't worry. I won't just kill you off. You're trapped after all. What can you do? Use your water you can? <laughs> That's the only thing I can do. Now that you'll know the truth anyway, I will just let you the whole story. I will tell you. Do you have any idea how hard it is to keep a secret like that? <coughs> I might introduce myself after all this time. I am not Seabell. I'm his twin brother. Seabob! Okay, Seabob. Seabell, Seabob. A few years ago, I wasn't doing well. I built more robots for a living, but wasn't able to sell any of them. Oh, I can't click. My brother saw the potential in me and. Being the good bro he was, he offered me a partnership. But he wanted to take the spotlight, and back then I thought that this was fair enough. At least I got paid. I worked down here in a secret with the engineers making plans and building robots. But Seabill's ego soon took over. He didn't see me as his brother anymore, more like one of his employees. 
I just wanted to experience that, oh, what it felt like to be the star of at least a moment. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, there he is. Then I created the special robot Summer Crab and all the others. They never show him unwithered. That's cool. But the people weren't ready for an evolution like that. They were scared and people in industries TM. <laughs> Trademark was put in a bad light. Siva got so angry with me that he fired me and told me to never come back again. Oh, never come back. How could my bro do this to me? I seem driven, so I built this machine I call Destroy. And destroyed everything. What a misery it was. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I hid in the machine and came to visit the remains of the house and people saw me. They thought I was him and I knew that this was my chance. And for the past years I pretended to be him. Yeah. When you take let you out, I already knew that the first thing you would do was to explore every nook and cranny. Your beaver is always snooping around, your folk is the worst spike. You probably do all along that I am the shady person, and now you're going to starve down here. Also, I will make sure that your parents join you very soon. All beavers must be cleared from this island. <laughs> oh, I'm going in the garbage chute. What? Meat mixed meat? Is that what I said? <clears throat> Mike? Is that you? Really? You? What? The Stripper! Yeah, oh, there's people been down here. There's bones everywhere. <laughs> Holy crap, how many, how many years has been? Oh my, you've gotten old. You look like your father, you know, like a beaver. It was a few years ago that I stumbled across the truth behind Seabob. He trapped me here for before I was able to spill the beans. He trapped a lot of more people who came close to finding out that actually. I don't know how long I've been down here. I was hoping someone would find me, and now you actually did that, and you are trapped together. Oh, that's not good. What? You think that everything will turn out well? What makes you think that? Ta-da! I followed you down the cave and saw the whole thing. Sea Bill, I mean Sea Bob, he has to be stopped. He wants to take out your parents and has no remorse. All he wants is his secret to be safe. And he thinks that he can achieve that by killing off the beaver family. Well, full he is though. Now go, take this exit. Wait, hold on. Yeah. <coughs> well then, challenge accepted. It has been a long time since I used this machine proper. Oh. Let's see if this baby still works as good as when I killed my brother. <laughs> Step up. Oh, we, we, another boss fight? I think that's the end of that video, I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> I'm not doing this again. Take me. I don't know how long.
This is so strong. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I played for an hour and two minutes already. Oh my god. I'm not doing that anymore. Anyway, <laughs> see you guys on the next one. Please subscribe. I'll do the I'll do the boss battle next time. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I made it so far and I can't do it. I can't do it. So yeah. Please don't subscribe. Share this with friends because I need it. Also, I'm dying. There you go. I died. Okay. Yeah. See ya. And bye.